Hi, I'm just going to talk a quickly about the Britain's family friendly with David Cameron. Um, first thing I'll say, it's just an absolute sham. Um, him and Theresa May, Theresa May um, have played havoc with people's families and all for their political gain. Uh, the freedom of movement within Europe allows Eastern Europeans and anybody else to come in on a whim. If they get into Europe, they can get into the UK, and that door they cannot close. They've been trying, and unsuccessfully, so far. Now, that doesn't uh, apply to people like myself. My wife's Filipino, my kids are from the Philippines, half Philippines, half British. And they make it as difficult as possible for people like myself to come into the UK with their families. Now it's not that we're not legally allowed to. They just keep moving the gateposts. Because what you've, what I've discovered is that the UK government, because they're committed to reducing the immigration numbers, and they cannot reduce the immigration numbers they would want, i.e. they cannot stop Romanians coming in, um, which the local the local tabloids in the UK love to demonise as the worst scum on the planet. Um, they can't stop them coming in. So what do you do? How do you get your figures down when all the people that you're telling everybody you hate, which is what they're doing, the tabloids are doing it all day long. Um, you target people you can get, but we are no good for the media. I'm British. Um, I earn a good wage, I have a good job, I have a good career, I actually bring money into the British economy, um, contracts I've won overseas have actually brought a ridiculous amount of money towards the British um, country because of the tax that the corporations I work for. So I've actually a strong benefit to the economy, but they don't want us. Well, they do, but they don't. They want our intelligence, they want our um, abilities, but they don't want our, us to bring our families in if they can see it on the figures. And I've seen it several times now where I'm sort of gobsmacked at some of the lengths that the immigration are going to. Um, I met a, a woman who, who was telling me about a... A British guy and a Thai, his Thai wife, where they have a child, and they stopped the child coming to the UK. Now, what they did is they turned around and they're ready for the flights because I, I nearly got into the same thing, which I find completely bizarre why they would do it. But if you read through what the British immigration have been doing, I don't find them any different. To, um, than Hitler's SS, to be honest, in, in many ways. Except obviously they're not mass killing yet. <laughs> not today, anyway. Um, but the the thing was, is the woman was allowed in. The child wasn't. The child was stuck abroad. And this was the same thing I nearly went through myself. Because they told me to get uh, Philippines passports. And then when they get to the UK, get British passports. But what they did is they rejected the child on the on his Thai passport and sent him home and left the mother in the UK. Now, they knew they were going to do that. And they actually went for advice from the British Embassy. So if the British Embassy don't know what they're doing, you know that or there's some sick twats that work there. Um, and it could be a bit of both. Um, they really do annoy me because that, that's not just incompetence but that is destroying families on purpose and it's not the first one and it's not the first time I've heard of it it's not hard to find this stuff online where people have had their relationships dismantled because of the way the system is set up and abused by the British government and the embassies and the UK border force, whatever you want to call them. It's, it, it sort of leaves me speechless on what do you say about it. Um,
when it what, what how would you feel if somebody said to you 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 don't need to um, bring your kids here your kids are young enough to live without you because that was actually said to somebody by the UK immigration when their visa was rejected yeah the kids are old enough uh, still young they can do without you good old family values in the British government yeah, yeah. Um, and the problem is a lot of these people are people that the UK actually needs. Um, I work in engineering. I work on large contracts. Um, I do asset management for large corporations. Often my contracts could be up to 80 million pounds. But at the same time, I still got the same problems as somebody that's um, only earning 20,000 a year or whatever or less because the immigration are targeting at us. Um, and, the, and you think while well, bringing these people, there's other people that are from Australia, um, Canada, the US, all getting the same hassle. It doesn't matter where you're from because we're an easy target. Our numbers are very small relating to the amount of people who want to immigrate to the UK. but the fact is, it's a, a reduction, and that's all the immigration is using using us for. It's a number reduction. You're not talking about Muslim extremists. You're not talking about Romanian gangs. You're not talking about um, people returning from Syria, or even. You're talking about families where they have at least one high wage earner, if not two. And they're still being singled out because of reducing immigration numbers. Now, I'm not being funny, but being back in the UK, it's become a benefit state. Um, I'm, we've been, I've been really struggling to hire people. Um, that's no joke. And yet people say, there's no jobs, no jobs. There is no jobs for idiots. Um, that's the only way I can describe it. Because uneducated, illiterate, nobody wants you um and that's why a lot of businesses were happy when the romanians came uh, Romanians, the polish came uh, in the first wave if we, if we call it that of immigrants because they have a work ethic they were used to dealing with agency staff that work two days a week then once they got paid would go out and get wasted they're used to people that would throw sick days all the time um and that influx of immigration actually helped the UK economy. Nobody wants to talk about that. Everyone wants to run them down. Everybody wants to run everything down. That is the UK media these days. But as somebody that actually benefits the economy, I bring work here, I bring money here. Um, I fill posts that need to be filled to assist with generating more stability within companies. I have no problem finding work. I I earn too much to even get something off the state, even if I wanted to. And I don't want nothing from the state. The UK to me is somewhere I work. I don't want anything off the system. I don't use NHS. I don't use, um, even when I'm unemployed, I don't even, um, what do you call it? I don't even use the unemployment system. I've actually paid 18, I don't know, no, it's more than that. It's a ridiculous amount of years I've already paid into the national insurance system. And guess what? I probably would never claim my pension because I see it is worthless. Um, the amount is not something I value. Um, it takes far more out of me than I give it. Yeah, you know, sorry, I'll ever get back. And as, that, as such, I value is nothing. So... And you, I know some people are going, oh, you're British, you're running down to being British. No, the fact is, I don't want nothing. I don't ask for nothing. I have a right as a British citizen to a family life. And I don't expect to have some jumped up public school boy um, for the British government telling me he's all into family values and everything when he's a liar. 
He is nothing except a self-serving politician. And that's what I want to say in the subject. Sorry, so long.